I started playing hockey when my brother brought me home a pair of skates. He worked in Montreal when I was five. I was the youngest of uh, five people, five kids, but came way behind. And uh, he took me out on a, sh on a, a pond that froze over. I, I lived on a farm in, on the Gaspi Coast in Port Daniel. And my brother took me out on a pond that had frozen over. There was no ice, no arenas, or, and uh, taught me to skate. You know, I grew up in the country, and of course, I wanted to get out of the, out to the country and get out of it, Toronto. <laughs> so I came out to the country. You know, we were royally welcomed by the Streetsville Minor Hockey Association that the Gray family was involved with, and the Ladner family, and etc. They, we were royally welcomed to the Streetsville area. In 1951, the main street was completely torn up. Uh, see, Streetsville was a separate uh, municipality then from the township of Toronto. And uh, they were uh, paving the main street of Streetsville in 1951. I remember it so well because it was quite a mess. The Streetsville community has always believed that volunteers can do a great job. And uh, that is why we have this beautiful facility. It was a group of volunteers way back in 1965 or 68, I forget the date, that started the, uh, the arena. You know, it wasn't built with taxpayers' money and has never been operated with taxpayers' money. Old Vic Johnson, he was quite a character. I remember him so well. He was the arena manager, <laughs> volunteer, not paid. He ran the place. That's how it got named after him. And uh, he, uh, I remember the joke that was made about when he was operating the arena, he looked for bargains. And I remember once, that he drove to Hamilton to pick up toilet paper because it was on, on, on sale. That's the type of individual he was. He, uh, uh, everything, he spent all his hours here. Uh, he ran it. He ran the arena. And so it was properly named in his honor. Well, first of all, I think you have to realize that this arena became the community center of Mississauga. If you wanted to meet people from the Streetsville area, you came to the arena. It was a community center, not just an arena. And it has been that all over the years. It's, uh, it's, it is the center of Streetsville. And then because of the profit that they made running the arena, they were able to build the beautiful hall banquet hall that is now named after me, which I was so delighted when they named the banquet hall after me. Uh, but there you go, built by volunteers. The profit that they made from the arena paid for the building of the community hall. That's the way Streetsville does it. You see, the, there's a spirit in Streetsville that I tell you uh, is just so spectacular. Hockey brings the community together. It means that the parents come with their kids and, uh, you know, I think of the, uh, the thousands and thousands of kids that came from around the area, not just Streetsville, to play hockey in this arena. It teaches kids discipline. It teaches them teamwork. And, uh, you know, I'm very proud of my involvement with the Ontario Women's Hockey Association uh, and uh, the wonderful way in which we were able, I was able 
to assist Fran Ryder in getting them into the Olympics in uh, 1997, I think it was. It allowed girls to enjoy this wonderful game of hockey. I said, why? Why should only male, males uh, enjoy the game? And so uh, my advice to girls is be independent and uh, be, uh, have confidence in yourself. And secondly, uh, you can do anything that a boy can do, especially when it comes to sports. And girl are, girls are excelling. So I think we have, to, we have to feel, the young girls have to feel they're on an equal status with males. And with that confidence, they can accomplish much. Not only in sport, in the business world, in, in all aspects of the community. They have to show that they have the ability as well as the desire and the ambition. Hockey develops kids uh, in a major way, both girls and boys, and uh, teaches them, as I say, discipline, uh, because they're penalized if they don't follow the rules and it teaches them teamwork. And teamwork is so important through your entire life.